Hey y'all, this is our um, notes over uh, unit six, section B on coordinate graphing. This is a review. We've already um, taken notes over this, so this is going to be quick and it's a review. Um, first of all, remember that this is called a coordinate grid or coordinate graphing. And we have our x-axis and our intersecting y-axis. In the intersection of those two axes, divide this into four quadrants. Quad meaning four, so four quadrants. And we know that this point right where they intersect, we call that the origin. And that gets the ordered pair 0, 0. So just a reminder that ordered pairs always list the x first and the y second, and they describe a location a location on this coordinate grid. Also just a reminder that we label or number these different coordinates and we usually use Roman numerals. Remember that it goes around in a C. So if you're a Chicago fan, you can remember that it goes in a C where this first quadrant is labeled with the Roman numeral 1, the second quadrant with the Roman numeral 2, the third quadrant surprisingly enough, Roman numeral 3, and then finally Roman numeral 4. These are just number lines that we um, have put in a horizontal and in a vertical way. Think about like a thermometer as a number line that goes north to south, and then uh, number lines that we see in math usually go right to left in a horizontal direction. Um, and these are numbered with zero in the middle, on your x-axis, the positive numbers fall to the right of zero, so zero's in the middle, your positive numbers will be to the right, and your negative numbers will be to the left. On the vertical or y-axis, zero in the middle, positive numbers are going to be above zero, and negative numbers will be below zero. And so given that information, we can um, tell which quadrants um, ordered pairs, we call them ordered pairs because they go in a certain order, x first and y second, are going to fall in. So remember we always start at the zero point and we go right to left first. So this one tells us to go to a positive four and then up and down next and this one says go up one. And so that one would fall into quadrant one. Over four, up one is in quadrant one. For a second one tells us to go back six and then down three, and so that one would fall into quadrant three. And then negative three, two tells us to go back three and up two, and so that one falls into quadrant two. And then six, negative three tells us to go back six, and then down three, I'm sorry, that's positive six, excuse me. That tells us to go positive six, and then down three, and that falls then you can see into quadrant four. And finally, the last two here that don't fall in any quadrant at all, we go right to left eight, so we're going to go right eight, but then we don't go up or down at all, and so we're right here, right on the x-axis, so that point is on the x-axis. And then zero eight tells us that we don't move right or left at all, but then we go up eight, and so that one falls right on the y axis. All right, so that's a quick review of our coordinate graphing. In our next section, we'll um, review about uh, graphing shapes onto our grid.